Hey everyone, it's Polly here. Uh, I'm going to talk about applying diatomaceous earth to your animals. Um, I just did a video applying it to chickens, so uh, I'm just going to title this applying it to animals, uh, at least animals that have four legs. <clears throat> well, I don't know of an animal that only has, well, I guess maybe monkeys. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> applying uh, diatomaceous earth to your animals. Uh, this is Aviv, and uh, she's my poop factory and milk factory. And uh, I'm going to just demonstrate how we apply this to her. This, this is going to, we, we don't ever see any ticks on her, um, but she does stay in here, and we feed her hay. Once in a while, we'll let her out. So uh, uh, if you want to know more about diatomaceous earth, I'm not going to explain it. Go to the link below, and it'll take you straight to my DE pages. Um, I have a pest pistol, and you can probably find these on eBay, but it's called a pest pistol, and normally I apply this on a calm day, but uh, I, I got a wild hair just to go ahead and start filming. Um, it doesn't take much diatomation through at all, and they, they know that you're doing it to them, but uh, it's not uncomfortable. Really more dust than it than it was the the powder. So and you don't need a pest pistol. It just uh, helps when you're trying to target certain areas, like under the belly. It's a little harder to sprinkle under the belly, but uh, you can just grab a little handful like that and just. Just rub it up underneath, and if you're getting up on top, you just sprinkle a little bit. It, you don't need a whole lot. This is more of a, a deterrent for pests. When pests, when when parasites start crawling up, they sense danger, and then they kind of back off. It's like, well, it's not a good environment for us. Um, applying up on the neck. Up around the head. Again, it's not uncomfortable for them. It's just now that's what I want to see. And they'll shake it a little bit, and they'll get it all down in there. Um, again, you don't have to use this, but it really works great. You want to get the legs, because that's where they're most likely going to come up. Good job, sweetheart. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, if, if you're applying it to your cats or dogs, any inside uh, animals, please bring them out. Apply just a, a small amount um, because they they may try to when they get inside, they may try to to uh, scoot all around the, the furniture and the rug just to get it off because it's it's not normal to them, but. You know, we don't apply this every day. We don't apply it once a week. We just apply it as needed or when it's necessary. So, anyway, uh, that's uh, how to apply diatomaceous earth to your animals. Uh, thanks for watching.